hey everyone welcome back again and thank you for clicking if you are new here hello welcome so i had to put off the original audio because this is weekend and the kids are home and the background noise was just too much so today i'm going to accra for almost the very first time like go to accra since i moved out and i'm going to a couple of places and i intend to take you guys with me the first place is i'm going to achimota and after that i'm taking my Ghanaian little sister out i've been promising to do this for the longest since she came and finally i'm happy i'm getting the chance to do it today so but first we'll go to Achimota and then from there I'll take you guys through the rest of my day. I do hope that you enjoy this vlog and you stay tuned and see where I'm taking her to. And please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video you'll be notified. And please ensure to like the video. Leave me your thoughts down at the comment section. Uh, first, we are at KFC from here. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna take her to Legon Botonica Garden. Sorry if I have not shown you guys her face yet. She is shy, and I didn't want this to be about the content, okay? I just wanted to take her out. I just decided to film. So I wanted her to feel as comfortable as possible without my cameras on her face. So first we're going to be doing the Ghana Jellof KFC version. Please, if Ghana Jellof is going for competition, I beg you, tell KFC people not to go. Not to go and represent Ghana Jellof. Uh, the competition, you won't win. Trust me. I, I don't know. I think the best thing to do at KFC is eat their fries, but their chicken is one of the best. But you see that they are jello fries. Oh my goodness, please. You must not be allowed to represent Ghana jello at any competition. I'm begging you. <laughs> because even we, we were, well, because we paid that much. So we had to just enjoy the food and just move on for her she's so happy i'm so thrilled to see her feel this great you know initially i asked her if she would like to do like we can actually use this money to eat the local food and eat like kings and queens because just imagine the amount spent there you're gonna, if you want to use it to eat fufu you're going to eat the best of it with all the meats you know all the proteins uh but we had a good time and that is what matters so right now we are at Legon Botonica Garden. I've not been here before, but I needed a place where she can take pictures, she can see nature, maybe do like the canopy walk, go on canoe, paddle, all these things is why we are here. But I don't know what to expect. And unfortunately, I came here, my phone was almost off and uh, I only had my camera and they said, I can't be allowed to film with a camera except I pay a certain amount, which is quite a lot. So I decided to just forget about filming and just, you know, just show you guys around a little. So I didn't do like detail, detail filming, but I still tried to, okay, trust me, I still tried. So let's go and see what this garden have got to offer. I wish they have allowed me to film with my camera so I can give you guys like a tour of the whole place. This place is actually beautiful but mm, it's how they choose to run their business anyways so but whatever quality we get here uh, is is them to blame not me because i had wanted to do it very well but the freedom to do so was not allowed so but that is good let's go in here because i like what i'm seeing you know those kind of curious roads that will leave you feeling curious the road looks like you want to know where it's leading to so that's it so let's go see where this one is leading to at the entrance of the garden it wasn't making any sense to me like i didn't feel it like it wasn't giving but now that we're in i'm gradually beginning to see the beauty of it and if you have been following my videos for some time you can tell that i like it green and very natural and it's gradually giving already it's giving that natural vibes already 
and I cannot wait to see what we get in there. This place, let me give you a piece of advice. If you want to hang out here and you are the type that don't want noise, highly recommended that you come here during a weekday from monday to thursday this place is usually very quiet very calm you can come here read a book take your loved one out maybe you guys need to have a private discussion or you just want to chill alone and you know think about life or by yourself advise yourself on issues this place is highly highly recommended but during the week only if you come here during the weekend it's always busy crowded and noisy so just so you know and there are a lot of activities here that can keep you really um, happy one of them is the canopy walk so i would advise you learn how to do the canopy walk on this one if you ever think of going to kakum national park this is because this is going to help you train you ahead of you know that one okay so let's continue to look around and see what we can find for me it feels like i don't know but this place is really beautiful and when you get in here it becomes really quiet it, it just blocks the noise of the city i mean away and you just feel very calm very peaceful very quiet like i said earlier the best time of the week to come here is during weekdays if you come here during weekdays you will love it because it's really quiet peaceful very calm so the there won't be a lot of people um at the garden so yeah all right so from here there are other things uh, other places we went to my phone off i couldn't vlog so oh, let's go on ahead and wait for the following day because i have to go back to accra for the meeting i think now i'm beginning to see why a lot of people were advising me you know not to go too far away from accra even though i want to go out of accra i should make sure that i live within a place of maybe at most three hours to accra because sometimes you may need to be in town for something you never can tell but i didn't see all of that because i felt like i have no business with the city as a matter of fact that was what i thought but now um i have an important meeting which i went for yesterday and used that time as well to go to take my sister out and then today again i have to go back there and now i'm seeing the importance of living not too far away you be out there. from you accra to so you you let's get ready to return back there Maybe in another vlog, I'll tell you guys what the meeting was all about, or maybe I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll leave you guys like that. So just get ready with me. Actually, um, I did a video on sleep, a flat tummy tea, which I've been checking out to see if this thing is working, but it's not bad. I think my tummy is no longer where it used to be, so it's working. So I had a lot of makeup on today, thinking that there will be a lot of filming going on. But after the meeting, I couldn't go to any other place because of time. So what is in this bag here is my laptop. I had to put it in a, a school bag and then put it back inside this transparent bag. I don't want anybody to know what I'm carrying. So if you had seen me that day and I look like this, this is why. All right, so right now let's go straight up and head to Achi Monta to go continue. The so this is for me. I'm not very familiar with Achi Monta. It's one area of Accra that I'm not really used to. Like I'm not really used to, not to say I've never been, but half, but not like I, I don't really. I can't tell. Oh, this is here. This is where. So, but right now we are heading to. I can't even remember the name of the hotel but finally we are there and this is one of my oga <laughs> my big brother's room from uh, the view from his window it looks really good and uh, by the time I got there because we